Hi, it's Katrina. From giant colonies and trees to some of the most expensive food on Earth, here are 12 amazing nests in the animal kingdom. Number 12. Horned Coot The horned coot is a large, dark avian species measuring up to 2 feet long and is endemic to the Andes of South America. It's a rare bird typically only found in certain lakes set high up in the mountains amid barren and rocky habitats. Horned coots build unique nests in shallow waters, typically about 130 feet from shore, using their beaks to collect pebbles and forming them into mounds. The finished product appears as a massive pebble island covered in algae weighing as much as 1.65 tons and resembling the top of an underwater volcano. One nest can take months or even years to complete, but it is well worth the effort as it keeps the eggs and chicks safe from water currents. This monogamous species breeds in colonies of up to 80 pairs. Every breeding season from November to January, the colony returns to their previous nests and refurbishes them for reuse. Good thing, because they look like a lot of work to make. Number 11. Ruby-throated hummingbird Female ruby-throated hummingbirds begin building their nests after mating, at which point the male moves on with his life. This is unlike many other bird species where males are often the sole nest creators, or at least participate in the process. The species is also unusual because the female handles incubation and feeding chicks entirely on her own, with no help from the male. Females typically build their thimble-sized nests along a descending deciduous branch between 10 and 40 feet off the ground, but sometimes they'll settle for wires, extension cords, and chain loops. They spend several hours daily collecting things like plant material and spider silk, and constructing their home for up to 10 days straight until finally it's complete. The finished product measures roughly 1 inch deep and up to 2 inches across. The spider silk is an important component of the nest because it allows the tiny home to expand when the chicks hatch and start growing, but items like lichen and moss help camouflage the nest, protecting the mama and her little ones from the prying eyes of predators. And now for number 10, but first wanted to give a quick thank you to Lil Donut 2007 for being a long time subscriber. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe before you leave and let us know your favorite bird in the comments below. Number 10. Wasp Nests It's not always great when you run into a wasp or a hornet's nest, but if you look at it from a construction point of view, wasp nests are really impressive structures in nature. The American Museum of Natural History asked a curator to show off some of the specimens in the museum's collection. The South American species Polybia sutilaris has a thick paper carton that's hard to break through along with scary spikes. They are built to last and can be used for many years. Wasp nests as big as a car have been popping up in Alabama. Who do they belong to? The Yellow Jacket. In 2006, a colony of 15,000 yellow jackets was found inside of a car, and it pretty much took up the whole inside. To make their nests, wasps find weathered wood and chew it into a pulp mixed in with their saliva. With this, they can create paper cells, just like a paper mache project. Speaking of which, biology student Mattia Manchetti gave European paper wasps some colorful paper and they created a vibrant rainbow nest. Social nests can have colonies of around 5,000 members, but in many cases they all die in the winter except for the newly fertilized queens who survive the cold and restart the colony in the spring. Number 9. The Jur Falcon The Jur Falcon is a formidable predator and the world's largest falcon species. They have the oldest raptor nests ever recorded. They spend most of their time in the Arctic, rarely leaving the confines of the northern latitudes they call home, and only traveling as far south as the Canadian border, and just during the winter, so it's pretty hard to see one. These giant white birds live in isolated populations hunting along open habitats like the tundra and along coastlines, looking for birds, hares, and rodents of all kinds to eat. They typically nest in cliffs and occupy the former dwellings of other species, like common ravens and golden eagles. If they need one, they will scrape some sort of crevice out, but most likely it was a nest built by another bird. The same depression in the rock or abandoned nest will be used generation after generation. The structures are usually bare and pretty basic, right on the ledge with guano and feathers and debris that the birds bring or leave behind. Some might have twigs or soil, but that's the most elaborate it's going to get, and twigs and sticks get easily damaged. 
The gerfalcon pretty much only contributes to the building of its own nest insofar as the male and female work together to scrape out a hollow depression in the center. But the amazing thing is that some gerfalcon nests are used for extraordinary lengths of time. Researchers from the University of Oxford discovered one such dwelling in 2009, which was an estimated 2,500 years old. And the birds have continuously been using it since the Roman era. While this is unusually long, the researchers also found three other gerfalcon nests that were around 1,000 years old each, vastly outliving the lifespan of pretty much any human home in existence. Feather fragments dating back at least six centuries served as further evidence of the nest's old age. Number 8. The Weaver Weaver birds build some of the animal kingdom's most impressive and intricate nests, and they can get the job done very fast, sometimes even completing an entire nest in just one day. A male bird will start a nest using a single long blade of grass or a piece of leaf, which he skillfully ties into a knot around a twig using his beak, and constructs a circular structure from there using materials like twigs, roots, grass, and leaves. Weavers aren't born knowing how to tie knots. Much like a human child must learn to tie their shoes, it takes practice for these birds to become skilled at tying the knots necessary for nest building. But as they say, practice makes perfect, and sooner or later it becomes second nature. If a female who comes along is impressed with the nest, she will demonstrate her approval by sticking around and helping the male finish it, although he will still do the bulk of the building. One species, called the sociable weaver, is known to create massive communal nests in the Kalahari Desert of South Africa. Sociable weavers build the biggest nests on Earth, with hundreds of families living in just one. The bio weaver in Southeast Asia makes incredible ornate hanging nests woven from leaves. They look like sculptures, don't they? Weaver nests are extremely well made. They are known to be 100% waterproof and durable enough to survive the elements, including violent storms. Number 7. Mallee Fowl The Mallee Fowl is not that big, but this Australian chicken-sized bird builds one of the world's largest nesting mounds, with the biggest known example measuring 15 feet high and 35 feet across, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. On average, however, these mounds measure roughly 10 feet across, 3.3 feet deep, and are about 2 feet above ground level. Still bigger than me! A male will start the nest building process like a human gardener, by digging a hole and filling it with organic materials like leaves, sticks, and bark, which he mixes after the rain, turning it into speed decay. When the matter reaches 89 to 93 degrees Fahrenheit, the female lays a clutch of anywhere between 2 and 30 eggs on top of it and covers them with sand. Using his beak, the male regulates the mound's temperature throughout the incubation period. Even more amazing than the mallee fowl's massive nest itself is the fact that once their chicks hatch, the parents both abandon them completely, leaving them to fend for themselves. Talk about tough love! Thankfully, chicks learn to walk and run within hours of hatching and can usually fly within a day, making them extremely self-sufficient from the start. Number 6. Cathedral Termite Termites are famous for their skyscrapers. They build the tallest non-human structures in the world, proportionately speaking. They have amazing home-building capabilities. National Geographic reports that with a single specimen typically being much smaller than a human pinky nail, it's incredible that in groups of a million or more, termites often build mounds as high as 17 feet, moving up to 550 pounds of soil in a single year. Cathedral termites, more specifically, construct some of the tallest non-human structures in existence, at least in ratio to their size. Associate Professor Lowe from the University of Sydney's School of Life and Environmental Sciences said the mounds are an engineering feat when considered in comparison to the tallest structure on Earth, Dubai's skyscraper the Burj Khalifa. Given that a worker termite stands about 3 millimeters in height, these mounds are in human terms the equivalent of four Burj Khalifas stacked on top of each other, he said. These clever and highly efficient builders primarily inhabit Australia's Northwest Territory, where their dwellings are evident throughout the landscape. They create their spectacular mounds from mud, chewed wood, and their saliva and feces, turning each structure into what author Mary Bates calls a self-sustaining termite megacity in a National Geographic blog. These shockingly tall mounds are fascinating in their own right, but what's even more surprising is that an entire cathedral termite colony's underground dwelling may occupy several acres. 
Within the cool interior of the subterranean structure, condensation collects, and some termites keep underground fungus gardens which feed the occupants. I'm telling you, it's a mega city! Number 5. Hammercock The hammercock is an all-brown bird with a long, flat crest on its head, giving it a hammer-like appearance, hence its name. This species, which lives in a variety of habitats throughout sub-Saharan Africa and Madagascar, is also known for its massive domed nests, which are the biggest of any avian species on the continent. Hammercops often occur in pairs and in groups of up to 10, but can number up to 50. While in pairs, they develop a habit of compulsive nest building, using as many as 8,000 pieces to craft the final product, which can weigh up to 50 pounds. Regardless of size, all hammercop nests contain just one small opening that acts as an entrance. A couple will build as many as five nests a year, occupying each one for just a short period. These structures often attract other animals, including Varro's eagle owls, barn owls, gray kestrels, and even non-birds like gennets and other small mammals who sometimes evict the rightful inhabitants and take over. Pigeons and certain other species will attach their own nest to the hammercop's nest. Hammercops also have to worry about egg stealers, like monitor lizards and snakes, which will not only eat them, but then take over their nests as their own lair. These nests are such valuable real estate that some birds, including the Egyptian goose, the pygmy goose, and the knob-billed duck, will take up residence in one that is no longer being used by hammercops. But sometimes hammercops themselves return to previously used nests and re-inhabit them, even when some renovations are required. Number 4. Black Kite Black kites are a species of bird widely distributed throughout Europe. They're known to build nests on trees, building ledges, and cliffs, often just feet apart from each other. Nests are primarily made from organic materials like twigs and sticks, but when necessary, black kites get creative and improvise by incorporating man-made materials, namely garbage, in the form of plastic strips. This, along with the species' tendency to nest closely together in colonies, is partially the product of the bird's tendency to live within close proximity to humans, forcing them to adapt over time to the in-demand real estate that literally comes with the territory. But some researchers believe there's more to why black kites build nests using human-made garbage. While some theorize that they do it as a form of camouflage, more recent research indicates that it might actually be a power play. In other words, that it's an assertion of superiority. But truthfully, nobody knows for sure yet. Number 3. Edible Nest Swiftlet Sometimes the name says it all. Also called the White Nest Swiftlet, the Edible Nest Swiftlet is a small bird endemic to Southeast Asia, which builds its cliffside nests out of solidified saliva. It's a surprisingly simple concept compared to other species' nests, believe it or not, with the saliva hardening against the cliff and being formed into a bowl-shaped dwelling where the bird lays its eggs. In addition to their practical value for the edible nest swiftlet, these nests are valued by humans, who use them as an ingredient for a dish called bird's nest soup. As unappetizing as eating solidified bird spit might sound, it's one of the world's most expensive food ingredients, and is highly sought after despite having no taste. It's known as the caviar of the East and can cost anywhere from $2,500 to $10,000 per kilogram. One bowl of soup can cost anywhere from $30 to $100. The nests are hard to reach and also need to be cleaned. Scouts risk their lives in the process as they hang from the cliffs trying to determine which nests are ready to pick and which aren't. The nest material is rumored to have high nutritional value with about 70% protein. When dissolved in water, it becomes a sweet gelatinous mixture, kind of like jello, I'm guessing? That's used for, of course, bird's nest soup and other dishes, including congee, boiled rice, egg tarts, and other desserts. Would you eat it? Or have you ever tried it? Let me know in the comments below. The trade must be regulated to prevent the swiftlet from going extinct. The nests are considered animal byproducts and are regulated by food administrations and other government bodies, also to prevent the spread of disease such as the avian flu. Number 2. European Bee Eater Also called the Eurasian or Gold Bee Eater, the European Bee Eater is a bright, multicolored bird that breeds throughout southern Europe and parts of North Africa and West Asia. This incredibly shy, insectivorous species is known to avoid humans and is highly migratory, regularly wintering in tropical regions of Africa. European bee eaters nest in colonies along sandy banks, typically near river shores where they excavate long vertical nesting burrows into earth or sand banks. These tunneled nests are usually at least three feet deep, with a nest chamber located in their rear. 
Most nesting pairs of this species, which is known to usually be monogamous but occasionally engages in polygamy, will carve out a new nesting burrow every year. Every now and then, however, a couple will reuse the previous year's dwelling if it hasn't been taken by somebody else. Number 1. Bald Eagle The bald eagle is an iconic North American species that is commonly regarded as a symbol of freedom, courage, truth, wisdom, and other core values that the United States was founded upon. Symbolism aside, these majestic birds are also known for their imposing wingspan, which can measure as much as 6 to 8 feet long. Naturally, bald eagles also build huge nests, which are often even larger than you would think a bird of their size needs. When a pair first mates, they start out with a smaller nest, but over time, their dwelling grows. Nests, or aries as they're also called, typically sit between 50 and 125 feet above the ground and are constructed from layered twigs and branches, and are usually triangular in shape. The structure grows year after year until it becomes large enough for an adult human to sit in. The largest bald eagle's nest on record was discovered in St. Petersburg, Florida in 1963. It measured 10 feet wide and 20 feet deep, plenty big enough for a fully grown person, or two, or three for sure. Thanks to conservation efforts, bald eagles are making an impressive comeback from their previously highly endangered status, as evidenced by increased sightings of the species' nests in places they had not been seen in a very long time. In May of this year, a bald eagle's nest was spotted in Cape Cod, Massachusetts for the first time since 1905, over 115 years. Thanks for watching! Which nest was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below! Remember to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you next time! Bye!